Hi guys, this is Maria and Manos and you're watching On The Couch with Eminem. The show to help you build fun and profitable businesses. Hi guys and welcome to another edition of On The Couch with Eminem. Obviously, I'm not on the couch and I am flying solo today, but today's topic has been brought about by a question that we had from one of our business owners is, how much does it actually cost per hour to have an employee within the organization? And it was a really, really valid question. And the purpose that a business owner really should know what an actual employee costs per hour is so they're making sure that they're doing their highest value worth, comparing apples with apples when we're talking about bringing in external people on contracting basis, which normally costs more per hour than say someone within the organization employed on a full-time basis and of course also evaluating the value of outsource workers and something that and obviously going overseas but something that we're really big on uh, with our uh, organization which we've been doing for many many years probably since we've started is having what we call junior personnel after school uh, students who come in and do so much of our work through our organization so let's just start from the beginning so what we're going to be talking about is the cost per hour of an employee. So we start with their annual salary. So I've just picked a random salary. You should do this with every single employee within the organization. So let's just pretend we have a senior person in administration who's been paid $65,000 in salary. On top of that, it's plus super. So we have the compulsory super of 9.5%. So in this example, it works out to 65,000 and 6,175 in compulsory superannuation. The total salary package is 71,175 which is quite common in the marketplace at this point in time. So what does it actually cost in addition to paying this to the okay. employee? We have payroll tax to add on top of that, which works out at 4.85%. And I have done a quick calculation on here, so I'll write it on the board. So that works out to $3,451.99. Now the question is always asked is, do you pay payroll tax on every employee? Uh, in, in Victoria, the threshold is about $680,000. So if you have an annual salary component of salary plus superannuation, which exceeds $680,000 odd dollars, you will be paying 4.85% for every dollar of salary that you pay thereafter. I won't go into the correctness of payroll tax. However, it is a charge. I always include it in its whole because it gives you a better understanding of what it actually costs to have an employee. So in addition to the payroll tax, we also have to pay work cover. Now in real estate services, work cover works out to about 0.35% of the total salary package. So in this example, we'll have an, a further cost of $249.11. So once you add these unavoidable uh, charges, the total package, the total cost to the business is, total cost is $74,876.10. However, it doesn't stop there. What we need to add now is other associated costs. For example, training and gifts. So in this example, I'm gonna put some rough figures on. Let's just pretend we spend an extra thousand dollars on training and also gifts so this could be end of year awards it could be their birthday it could be christmas gifts whatever it is but you need to make an allocation and again i've rounded up to about a thousand dollars per employee that will cost to have them in the organization so in total so far we've had a sa annual salary package of sixty five thousand dollars add the compulsory superannuation add the payroll tax add the work cover add training add gifts so far this employee is costing the business $76,876. Now, of course, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that goes into uh, obviously housing uh, an employee. And I call this housing costs, premises, so they need a desk, computers, emails, other staff amenities. But for the sake of this exercise, to work back to the cost per hour of an employee, I'm only gonna work on this number. This number of the total cost of this employee to this organization is 76,876.10. So now we've worked out the total cost of this employee to the business. This example, a $65,000 salary plus the additional cost works out to $76,876.10. Now to work out what it costs you per hour, we need to work out how many actual hours the employee works during the year. 
So in any 52 week period, there's 38 hours in a work week, which works out to 7.6 hours per day. So in total, total possible hours for a full-time employee working five days a week on the award of 38 hours per week works out to 1,976 hours. But from there, we need to start making some deductions. We need to take a deduction for the annual leave. Now, annual leave for everyone in most instances is 20 days. So that equates to 152 working hours. In addition to that, public holidays, there's a further 11 days that we need to take out for public holidays works out to 83.6 hours. And then we have personal leave, 10 days. And I know most people don't take their total personal leave, but again, it's a calculation you need to add into the equation. It's 10 days works out to 76 hours. Total deduction from the possible hours in a, in a working year is 311.6 hours. So in total, you'll have that employee come to work 1,664 hours Four. Now, when you divide that by the total salary cost of se total cost of the employee of seventy six thousand eight hundred seventy six, you work out a dollars per hour of forty six dollars and nineteen cents. Now, when you compare it to when you first started at the sixty five percent, there's an additional twenty one point six five percent on average an employee will cost you based on their dollars per hour. When you hire people and you're looking at putting them on at fifty thousand or eighty thousand dollars salary always add approximately 21 percent or 22 percent to be on the safe side of that actual base that you're offering that employee so at fifty thousand an additional 22 percent is going to come in about eleven thousand so a fifty thousand dollar employee is actually going to cost the business about sixty one thousand dollars i always like breaking it back down to the number forty six dollars and nineteen cents and the reason that's why important so as a business owner you need to understand that when you have a staff member and they're doing certain activities, make sure the activities correlate to the value that they bring into the table. So for example, if this was a sales support person in the marketing, it's actually costing you $46 per hour for that sales support person to prepare sales files and whether that's uploading to the internet, whether it's collating brochures and building boards to send off to suppliers. They shouldn't be going downstairs and cleaning up the dishes. They shouldn't be going and doing filing. They shouldn't be doing stuff that you could possibly find a lower cost employee could do that for you. Such is why we have uh, juniors who come in and do those medial tasks because we want to make sure and ensure that our high value people are doing high value work for the dollars per hour that it costs the business. Any questions guys, please leave your comments below. We'd love to answer them. And again, thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you at the next episode of On the Couch with Eminem. Cheers.